post whatever they want to post. So, so anybody can post you on social media? Yes. What's going on, everybody? Man, welcome to the video. I am glad you came by. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And you're going to find out what your support does here in just a minute. Uh, I want to make a major announcement, major news breaking announcement that Richard Russell has resigned from the Warrington Police Department. Like in May 26th of this year, just a couple months ago, uh, the last set of videos I published on Russell were in May. What's important here is in that whole batch of body cam, there, there's several civil rights violations in in, the, in that body cam. And I'm gonna, gonna show you those segments. But not only that, I'm gonna show you a lot of highlights of Richard Russell and uh, how we got here. How did we get here? We got here through Jermaine Jones. Right now, we are focused on, we was focused at that point, well, at that point, we was focused on Richard Russell because Richard Russell is the one who tased Jermaine Jones. When he chased Jermaine Jones, Jermaine Jones fell to the ground and allegedly hit his head. I requested all the body cam. I was told no. It's a criminal investigation going on with it, which at that time, that's true. It was. The DA, it was in the DA's hands to do something about these four officers. Uh, District Attorney Jared Williams. In December of last year, Jared closed the case. So he closed it in December, and then I requested it January 6th. Uh, the case materials from the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, who in turn told me no. Not only did they tell me no, I got the Attorney General involved, Kristen Settlemeyer. She emailed the attorney that was dealing with all of this, Tamika Haynes, who was with the Charles Lyons Law Firm in Augusta, Georgia. Kristen Settlemeyer asked about my request. Charles Lyons himself responded with a letter stating that Mr. Bloom, me, had already received the request. No, I had not received any kind of request. The only thing I'd ever, I've ever received in Jermaine Jones' case is the incident report. That's it. Nothing else. Uh, my, my request was very, very broad. I was body cam, statements, interviews, the whole nine, man, everything. So the Attorney General's office accepted that. Okay, so that's fine. So I'll go around both of them, and we'll we'll continue to get a, a little more in deep deeper on this because now that I know they're protecting these cops, I know something really really bad has happened that they don't want anyone to see, anyone to know about. I have not communicated with the family at all. They have no idea who I am. I'm doing this on my own. So just know whatever litigation is taking place, which I can tell you at this point, none, zero. There's nothing in PACER in regards to this case. Um, even if there was civil litigation, that is not an exemption for open records in the state of Georgia. Only criminal investigations. So I have to go around all of these um, oath violators and uh, lawbreakers to continue digging. So that's what I did. I just started getting random body cam on the officers, trying to get a feel for who they are. Maybe maybe there's something there. Maybe there's not. Maybe they just happened to be there on scene and they didn't take part in it, and, but they didn't try to stop anything. Okay. So I find out that Richard Russell resigned from the Sheriff's Department. Richard Russell resigned in February of 2022. The incident with Jermaine Jones happened in October of 2021. So it took a little while. Everybody, I guess, was happy. They think that they thought the sheriff's department did the right thing, getting rid of Russell. They made it appear as I guess if they fired him, they made it appear as if they did something about it. When actually they didn't do anything at all about it. They let Richard Russell resign. He has not been assigned to another police agency yet. So we are keeping a close eye on it. But anyway, I appreciate you guys' support. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, enjoy the video. It's a very long video, so you can watch it in chunks. Peace. Take care. You ran every single stop sign in town. There's 417 witnesses back here that saw I you did, running from me. I did not know you were behind me. I was just going okay. to the dirt road. Okay. That's it. Well, you're under arrest for fleeing okay. to elude, okay? Y'all leave. Leave. Leave.
Oh, I'm towing your bike. Leave. Your bike's getting towed. I'm saying, I didn't even. Leave, man. Y'all go. Y'all go. No. It's been so much simpler of you to just pulled over. I told you to take it to the house, man. I didn't know you were behind you me. Did. I turned my blue lights on when you came down railroad and you were looking at me and I pulled out. I didn't, and I as didn't soon see as I pulled out, I pulled out with my blue lights on I didn't see while you were facing I me. I didn't okay, see you. okay. Well, there's 4,600 witnesses that saw. I did not know you were behind All right, you were doing 70 miles an hour through the neighborhoods, through the streets. Okay, hauling ass, running every stop sign. You took this turn so fast trying to get away from me that you lost it. No, I was going to hit the dirt road. That's what I do. You're illegally parked right now in the roadway, okay? Get back in your car and leave the area. You going to leave your car right there? Leave, please. I'm asking politely for you to leave. You bring your knees in. Or bring your legs in. There you go. On three. One, two, three. Hey, buddy, where you at? Uh, well, Tracy Williams is in custody for felony fleeing to elude. Yep, they crashed at his dirt bike over here on uh, Hudson at Cedar. So I'm going to tow that and I'm going to take him to jail. I followed uh, for a little bit from a safe distance and he turned on the Cedar from Hudson and laid it down. It's got to get, it's got to get towed. Huh? It's got to get towed. 60 people just saw him run from me. All he had to do was pull over and I'd be like, hey, take it to the house. Hang on a minute. Can you have him pull? I got to take pictures real quick. I'm sorry. should be felony fleeing to elude, but I will do traffic tickets. I will do traffic tickets. I will do traffic tickets. That's what I'm saying. Do traffic tickets. I will do traffic tickets. I will do traffic tickets. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Hey, I, I, I couldn't find him. Tell me, it's your house. I'm going to get him. As soon as they take him out here, I'm going to get him. Just talk to him. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. We, we got to handle it. I promise. AJ, I'll call you in a few minutes. Just let me I'm really not that unreasonable when it comes down to it. And if you'd have just stopped, I'd have told you to take it to the house. Like that'd have been the end of this conversation. There wouldn't have been no ticket. There wouldn't have been no nothing. Like, it, it, and that goes back to the, like our first encounter. You told him already that you didn't know he was behind it. He knew. There's no way he didn't know, Miss Pam. No. I mean, Okay. Okay. Well, I mean. All right. Get all on high, y'all. Roy, you want it down for me? Hey, how's it going? I'm Officer Russell, Warren Police Department. You have your driver's license with you? Appreciate it. Do you mind if I see yours too, sir? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Hey, ma'am, Miss Robinson, is this your car? Is it registered to you? Do you have the registration with you? Who do you have insurance through? Okay. Do you have like their app or anything or a card? Yeah. So, oh, by the way, the reason I'm stopping you is window tent. My window? Yes, ma'am. The window tent. Do what? Yeah, if you don't mind. It's no big deal, but do you have your firearm on you? Do you have your firearm on you? No. Okay. I'm just curious. I do. I don't need it. You have two IDs? Mm -hmm. Nah, I'll get one. Oh, CDL and then just the ID car? Just a motorcycle. Oh, okay. I got you. It's old, though. I got you. I goes back to a Nissan. Huh? I was talking to him back there. 
Do you ever have another car with this same tag on it? Another car? Yeah, do you have a different car with the same license plate? No. I'll double check it, but when I ran it the first time, it didn't come back to this car. Come on, guys, you run that thing. They've come back to a Nissan. I know, that's why I was confused. For Georgia C SL 7600, back to a 2020 Toyota Camry, black in color. I must have mistyped the letter somewhere. Never mind, that's probably my fault. I probably mistyped it. Give me one second, okay? As long as your life everything's good, I'll get you anywhere, all right? Give me just one half second. I was typing and driving. I double checked it before I got out. I'm sorry about that. That was my fault. I typed the C and the S backwards. I'm more partly dyslexic. I'm sorry about that. If you run this, you're good. It all came back. I got your insurance and everything on the okay. on file. Can you roll this up just a hair for me? Okay. Perfect. I appreciate it. It's at 13, just so you know, state law is 35 plus or minus three, okay? okay. So that was the initial reason for the stop, all right? Okay. All right, y'all have a good night. Drive safe. 13, son, talk about it. Ain't that dark. My light was right through it. Oh, that's a stinger. And the windows was down on both sides. Things are going really well. We're proud of the work that we've done. We've been in the community every day um, for over a year now. How's it going, sir? Good. Do me a take a hand out the pocket for me, man. I'm talking about him. Appreciate it. Hey. You have your driver's license with you? Oh, yes. Sir. Also, Russell Warren. How you doing? How you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? All right. Appreciate it. Hey man, the reason I'm stopping for your window tent. You I know, know, I know, I know. You know how dark it is? Uh, that, they told me, they told me it was uh, straight. What does that mean? They told me, it was, well, I put it long, they told me I was straight. I got a sun bus and a ghost. Paid okay. 284. Do you know what percentage you told them or anything? Uh, this 20. It's 20? Yeah. You sure? Not the hill. Not the hill. I think okay. it is. I ain't no guy stopped for it. State patrol on scene. Everybody on scene. Yeah. Do you have an ID card on you, sir? Do you have an ID on you? You don't have one. Well, what are you reaching for in your pocket? Oh, I'll just, I'll just ask it. Oh, okay. Cool. Do me a favor. Hang tight back here for me. All right. Oh, I ain't got that on. You come with me, sir? Yeah. Yes, sir. You got on, sir. Oh, you're good. Just hang tight back here for me. In front of my car. Go ahead. Just thanks. A real quick question: Have you let somebody smoke weed in your car lately? Oh no, sir. No. Okay. No, you can you can smoke it. So is the marijuana smell coming out of your car is not from smoking weed? I smoke weed? in the house. I smoke. I smoke. I don't, not in my house, though, but I don't, I don't smoke. So it's on you. Do you have any on you? Oh, no, no, sir. No, sir. No, is, it, is it in the house? No, sir. Ain't no one. Okay. Yes, right. sir. Yeah, sure. If you don't mind. Yes, sir. You just... Five, one, two, three, four, fifth. Anything you say, fifth. Go ahead, ask me a question. Did you fifth? Oh, me. Oh, me. Yo, I don't know weed. I'll be around, I'll be just smoke weed. I don't want to do that smoke no Oh, it's just car keys, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, cool. That's a new Jordan, aren't they? No, but I can tell you that I plead the physics. Give me uh, one second, I'll be right back. Yeah, Stand back here for me. Hang tight with him real quick. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Can you do me a favor and hop back out the car for me? Step back there, front the control car. Can I see the key so I can roll the window down just a little bit? Yes, sir. I can tell you how dark the tent is. Yes, sir. Yeah. My door, bro. That's my door. Look at that. Be able to turn the ignition on. Oh, there you go. Check that out. That's cool. Look at that. This is it right here. This is an enforcer tent meter. This was issued to me at the police department where I worked at. Uh, this is one I purchased on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so you can get it. 
Uh, it's certified as of January 2021. So what we're going to do here is we're going to test it. This right here is a 60% uh, piece of, it's like Lexan, and it's, it's going to read 60% or plus or minus uh, 1 or 2% on there. The other one inside is another one, which is a, a little bit darker, and this one should read at, pull this out, this one's going to read at 30%. So once we test these two in here, they have to be very close to what you see here. Otherwise, so is it the darker the number goes? It's uh, are the lower the number goes, the darker the tent. Yeah, the okay. the lower the number, the darker the tent okay. because uh, that's how much light transmission is coming through. It's letting um, only thirty percent of the light through. Gotcha. All right, so let's do this here. We're going to test this. Got my hands full. We put that on. It's going to say within thirty to thirty-one. There we go. And what I used to do is I would pull it out and reposition it and just do it again just to have it in a couple of different areas. Here it is, 30 to 31. It bounced to 31. We'll do this one here. And this one is going to be 59 to 60. You can see that, sorry, I have it all sideways, 59 to 60. I'll pull it out, test it, and put it in there, 60. Now, if it stays within those 2% like that, upper, uh, you know, higher or lower, it's good to go. Probation violation. Oh, ain't no more probation. That might be my dad. Hold on. Ain't no more probation. Ain't no been in trouble. Hello, everyone, and thank you for stopping by another BS1 video. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to check the pinned comment down below where you can find more of Richard Russell's body cam. And don't forget to press this like button and subscribe. And check that playlist out because you're not going to believe what you're going to see in there. Y'all have a good night. Enjoy the video. Officer Russell with the Warner Police Department. You have your driver's last week? I know exactly who you were. I've been hearing about you a lot. Okay. I heard you had a lot of complaints on you, my guy. Well, if the man hadn't have done the felony stare on me as he was driving by, I probably wouldn't have shined it like right in his eyes. Her, her being hyped up and running a mouth and locking yeah. her up and... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna lock her up. I'm gonna Deputy lock her up. St. Jones I'm ran from them during a traffic stop. He was tased by investigator Richard Russell. Richard Russell. Richard Russell. Mm -hmm. Joy, Mark, I ain't covered. Temporary depot at Maine. How you doing, sir? I can't see, man. You're driving the flat light. We don't drive past your car, man. Oh, yeah, do you have your driver's license with you, sir? What's going on? I'm also, you me over. I'm also Russell with the Warning Police Department. You have your drivers last week? I know exactly who you were. I've been hearing about you a lot. Okay. I heard you had a lot of complaints on you, my guy. Okay. And I, and I rolled by you. And you Do you have your driver's license, sir? Russell has become aware his body cam is being published on the internet, so he takes measures to prevent anyone from talking by talking over them. This is consistent in all of his body cam. This is a use of prior restraint which Russell actively engages in these acts along with many other civil rights violations. Russell is employed by the Warrenton Police Department in the county of Warren, Georgia. The townsfolk are terrified of him. We the people are calling for Russell to be terminated and investigated by the Georgia Post Council. Let me explain. I'm about to record these interactions. I don't need to play like that, man. I okay. couldn't even see. I got you. I appreciate that. So, Mencia, is that how you say it? Menchaca. Menchaca? Right. The reason I'm stopping you, sir, you don't have your seatbelt on. I just pulled out my driveway. You okay, go get your seatbelt ticket, okay. You're on the roadway. Another yeah, question. Like I said. So, you stopping me from the seatbelt? So. Like I said, that's why I blow the horn is it, man. Okay, oh, so do me a favor, can you step out for me? Uh, is it reason? Yes, step out for me. Let me get it on the court before I step out. Man. For my state and yours. Okay, my body yeah. camera's rolling, sir, so go ahead and step out the car for me. Step back to the front of my car for me. Hey, do, you, get, do, you, do you have your ID on you, man? Now, we just left home. Do you have an ID at all? Yeah, it's at my house. Okay. I'm gonna stand in front of my car for me, bud. Stand in front of the car for me. Have a seat. Appreciate it. Right, is your license and everything valid? Yes. Okay. Right, when's the last time somebody smoked marijuana in your car? Uh, I had a friend. He probably smoked early today. Okay, so is there any marijuana in your car now? Nah, 
Now you can take if you want to. I don't yeah. smoke. Oh yeah, so there any marijuana on you? I don't smoke. Okay. Give me just one second, okay? Oh yeah, I'm straight. Everything good with me. Let me just stand with him real quick. I'm gonna send her back here with you. Weed in the car, or it smells like marijuana in the car, right? Step out here for me. Step out for it. Step out for me, man. For what? Step out of the car for me, okay? You're not telling me why? I don't have to tell you why. Once you got the car, I'll explain everything to you. I don't have to step out the car. Yes, ma'am, you do. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out the car, okay? Step back here to the front of my patrol car, please. Front of my patrol car, ma'am. Ma'am, stop with the games and stand in front of my patrol car. You holding us up from going to the store? You had stop somebody screaming. else pulled off stop and you jumped behind us. Stop screaming. Okay, I'll go in my traffic stop when you pass me, okay? I already let them go. They're already free to go on their on their way, okay? I can stop you because he's not wearing a seatbelt. When I make contact with you, the vehicle smells like marijuana. He's already given me consent to search on top of the fact that it smells like marijuana. So that's why you're out of the vehicle and that's why you're standing back up, okay? And like I said, I'd explain all that to you. Have you seen yeah. marijuana in the car? Okay. So you seen we ain't have on no seatbelt? Sit right here for me. So you able to see I have on no seatbelt all the way back down when you flash the light what on you me? Just said. Yeah. I remember you. You were the one that was trespassing up there at your ex-girlfriend's house. That's what it was. That's where you come from. The day we went out there outside. How do you open this thing again? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to say substantially less stuff this time. No, ma'am, just give me one second. Let me get your information. What's your last name, ma'am? First name, call it for me. What's, what's your date of birth? And you said you have a driver's license, correct?
What's the last name? W-R-I-G-H-T? Yeah. I feel like she might be a liar. We've got Italian in that car. Huh? They had Italian in that car. <laughs> I can smell it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I think he's been 99. Hang on. Let's go to summary. Just spin there or something? You want it? That's what it says. Hang on. Two away from one, okay. You run one by Georgia OLN and send the hit confirmation to Jenkins County. probation violations confirm warrant next edition with ORI as soon as he confirms it or whatever is it probation warrant? what's that? probably not going to warrant huh. yeah like right over there Suspended, she was not licensed. Next list it is. The man hadn't have done the felony stare on me as he was driving by. I probably wouldn't have shined it like right in his eyes. If he'd have been looking straight ahead, it'd have been across. But he's like, I'm just saying. I mean, from the minute he turned the stop sign, he locked in and couldn't break eye contact. Facebook famous around here already, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eric showed me a bunch of them last night. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> basically, they were like, basically, they were like, y'all go up. He's working. Don't be riding dirty. It wasn't, he's out here harassing people. He was like, y'all quit breaking the law. He's at work. Who said that? Boy, there was a bunch of different ones on there. Mm -hmm. Don't go down railroad. There's a roadblock because I had a car stop on railroad. <laughs> it was hilarious. One car roadblock, huh? Yeah, it's a one single car roadblock. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a double car roadblock because Eric was with me. Oh, okay. This is a roadblock apparently in Warrington. Really? Yeah, this is a road check. So what, this lane's open now? Yeah, I guess. That was a several, several Facebook posts. They were like, man, he ain't even supposed to be here tonight. What the fuck? I thought that's awesome. Oh, they, they just oh, it's not hard. <laughs> You're free to go. You can walk if you want. You can walk. Not him. Yeah. Probably should have. All right, Mr. Manchada. Give me for a minute. Turn around. Turn around for a second. Probation violation. Oh, I ain't on no probation. That might be my dad. Hold on. I ain't on no probation. I ain't never been in trouble. Turn around. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Man. Put your hand behind your back. Don't Stop. do this. Stop. I ain't never been in trouble. Stop. According to your old end, you got a warrant out for your arrest. For what? I ain't never been in trouble in my life, man. You know what I'm trying to tell you, man. Well, we about to find out. You're being detained at the Okay, moment. let me be detained. You all got to call somebody, man. That's what I'm doing. That's, <laughs> That's what, what we're doing. Okay. okay. Just have a seat for me. I'm about to say, man, Just I ain't never been in trouble in my life, man. Have a seat for me, sir. <laughs> Do 
you want to get cold? Um, hair was getting on my nerves. You know what helped that? Not happening. <laughs> you can say one more button. Okay, I'll be right here waiting on dispatch. I don't know what this is about, man. But I don't know you, though, man. I ain't got anything against you either like that. But this is only the second time I've ever talked to you. Yeah, but I just want to tell you that it weren't And I be, I'm on Facebook. Uh -huh. And I be seeing them talk about. Me too. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know this is the second time. I ain't know who they were talking about. I don't want too much, you know, see the officers and they're like that, you know, so I ain't know who they were talking about. That's me. Like that. See, I'm super concerned, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. really be concerned, and like that. I see it too. Yeah. And we look at it very I differently. It. Yeah, because I mean, when people who have do, criminal records, then, as long as it's street, yeah. are worried about me coming to work, yeah. that's a good day yeah, at work. It's a good, it's a good day at work, man. It means I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. What you're supposed to do, man. There ain't no problem with that like that, man. When people that live here, that don't break the law, that, yeah. that run businesses here, yeah. and work here and live here in town, and don't break the law, yeah. are like, hey, we're glad to see you, that means I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. If the, uh, the, the criminal element of Warrington, it if it were, bad. is concerned about my presence, that yeah. makes me happy. And, and it should. Like, that helps me sleep too. at night. I told you what I did and where I come from and all that other stuff. I've been doing this for a hot minute. One of the most highly respected law enforcement agents in the United States of America. Yeah, it should be worried. If you're doing anything illegal, yeah. it should be, you know, well... Makes me smile. To who? Me. That's my girl. When they, when they got here, the crowd came up, I told the GBI that I was going to get me a gun. They told me to get me a gun to protect myself. That's, that, that's my fine. Gun. Okay. That gun ready. Uh, okay. Hang on. One second. Instead of yelling, let me, let's have a conversation, okay? I don't care. I care about the people. Hey, here. You can use this bathroom. I ain't gonna do that, baby. Now my bathroom's back here. Okay, well then, you're gonna have to wait. Yes, ma'am, I, yes, ma I tried to give you an opportunity. I tried to give you an opportunity to use the restroom to be courteous, okay? But I have an order of operations I gotta go through. My neighbor, she had a little ride to the store, just a neighbor. She always is damn hyped up. Always. Yeah, her, her, her being hyped up and running her mouth is gonna lock her yeah. up and. <laughs> I'm gonna lock up, and you know how yeah. rare that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I right. yeah, kick her. Yeah, huh? She's giving me. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ride to the stove. Oh, you be a neighbor. But <laughs> you're gonna run them out so you can catch yourself in trouble now. Yeah. Would you like to have a seat in the back seat where it's warm, or you just wanna wait right here? Oh, I don't do it. I don't okay. wanna go in that back seat, man. Yeah, I, I don't ain't blame you for that. Yeah. So, Jenkins County might not want you. But I ain't dealing with Jenkins. I'll try to figure out. It's your date of birth, it's your address, it's your height, weight, physical description, it's your hair color, it's your eye color. I mean, it's literally everything. There's a picture of you, it's everything. Uh, I mean, through Jenkins County. I ain't been Jenkins County, man, probably. Man, five, five years, man. What did you say the warrant for? Uh, the probation. I, I bet paid all my probation for Jenkins, you know, long years ago, man. So that gotta be a mistake. I said, it's been about five years, man. Somebody in Jenkins County issued the warrant. It was signed by a magistrate. So I don't have any 20, access to 20, any of their stuff. 20, 2022. So they got, man. Yeah. There's usually a warrant issue date. Hang on. Because you didn't have one the last time I talked to you. Which means that it's relatively fresh. Oh. The 17th, man, and just yesterday is when they issued the warrant. You sure you paid off all your probation? Yeah. It's your it's original it. charges weren't five years. Well, it might have been five it, years ago. It was five years ago, man. 18. Right. So, yeah. That is about five years ago, like. What? They issued the warrant yesterday. It's wild. It's the second person I had. They issued and the warrant yesterday. Like, 
That probation won't pay. I don't have to. Yeah. You, can you can come in the office, like home meeting, and while you're sitting there talking, deputies will show up and arrest you on their warrant. They're like, oh. Probation, they're sneaky. Yeah, I had a uh, same. I had a same class with it, and you know, uh, I had to end up leaving the scene. So they had, hit and run. And I ain't hit nobody. Just filed on the hit and run. Yeah, they had served me, but like I said, I paid all my probation, and it was five years ago, literally. So I don't, I don't know how that happened right up. I, I, I need to talk to somebody myself. Yeah, you definitely like, do. <laughs> Basically, somebody yesterday out of five years, and y'all asked me out of more yesterday on the 17th. I'm gonna call somebody for you. Not right now. Not, not right now. Good, good. They ain't go to live. But I'm trying to see how they would go to live. County, maybe wake them up, knock the dust off their teletype. I 
I could have been anywhere, get my name ran somewhere. And he talk about I got a warrant, and I might would have been like, man, hold on. It's it, it very confusing. It's only been an issue with this. I mean, it can't be. It's not got to be wrong. That wreck is so long ago until the wreck ain't even on my life no more. That's how long it's been. I know it's been. I need to black right about now. No, uh, I think this county wants you. That's all I know. Or might want you. Yeah. Please hold. Okay, then. I think this county wants you. Who you want to come get your car? What is they want him. Get your phone up call. Right. My phone dead. I ain't, I ain't got mine on me neither. My shit at home. Kyle was just running to the store and big. I ain't got shit on me. Do, do you know your mom's number by heart? Yeah. 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 Come on back here for me. Pop down here. I ain't got any though. Oh, we got to search and either search, way. inventory, you know, oh. to make sure you don't take anything contraband wise in the jail, like lighters and shit. I will be en route to the jail. Appreciate it. How you doing? Open my door, man. Why did you open my door? Hey, how's it going, sir? Are you okay? Why did you open my door, though? Because I sir, can, because you're turning over. You can't just you open my door. You can disconnect. You can just disconnect. I got it. All right, thank you. Hey, how's it going? Again. Why are you screaming profanities out the window in front of the complex? I said y'all can stay out the road. That's what That's I said. That's not what you said. You dropped That's what I said. I said y'all can stay out the road. I was just curious as to why you're screaming I'm profanities saying, inside a door, neighborhood man? where children why and everybody else can hear you. It's called disorderly conduct, by the way. I'm because saying, you're not rolling your window down. Would you prefer I break the window? I was on the phone with 911. Okay, I am 911. Who do you think they're going to send? More of me? I was on the phone with 911. Who do you think they're going to send? Yeah, neither do I. I thought you were, like, moving or something. What you mean, Last moving? time you yelled at me out the window, you was moving, moving. out or whatever. Moving out what? Out of, like, Warrington. Isn't that what you told me last I got, time? I got two houses in Washington. Right, well, go back there. Stay no, there. I stay. I stay. I got a house in Norwood. Right, quit cussing out your window. I'll write your disorderly conduct ticket no, next time uh, I see no, you, sir. No, it ain't no disorderly conduct. Did you hear That's all smooth. the cussing that he was doing as he came by? Oh, it was. I'm not getting in there. Open your eyes. Have a good night, sir. Have a good night. On December 23, 2022, around midnight in Warrenton, Georgia, 
A man named Joe Vonta was stopped by Officer Richard Russell for not coming to a complete stop at a stop sign. Joe Vonta stated he was returning from his girlfriend's house. Joe Vonta had a knee-jerk reaction and ran. He was caught and that is where the video picks up. The rest has been made exempt pending all litigation. I attempted to obtain a copy of the search warrant but it has been made exempt. Let me know what you think about this sweep Officer Russell performed in the senior's home. Is that a violation of the Fourth Amendment? I look forward to your perspective. The video has been redacted by our staff. This is Rob Bodycam. Thanks for watching. One running. Oh, 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 Next oh, 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 Dope in the bag. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm sorry, oh, I forgot no, to tell no, you. Sir. Uh, that's a stop sign you ran oh, while we were sitting right here. Do you live by yourself? My grandmother. You live with your grandmother? Anything you do say can be used against you in a court of law. Mm -hmm. You have the right to speak to an attorney and have an attorney present during any questioning if you wish. All right, well, I'm Russell, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so the reason that we stopped you was for the stop sign violation. You come off the side street, made a left right here, never stopped. You just yielded because traffic was clear. There was no other cars coming, but it is still a violation. You do have to come to a complete stop at all stop signs. Mm -hmm. All right, so I made contact with you just to recap. You took off from me, had a little scuffle. I did wind up having to drive stun you, but you're okay, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, you know I found your bag that you were trying to take off running with. So, do you want to tell me about the bag or anything in the bag? No, sir. Okay. All right. So, obviously it does belong to you, though. You grabbed it and took off running with it out of the car. Do you sell drugs? No, sir. Do you want to talk to me about where you get your marijuana from? No, sir. Okay. And that's where you live with your grandma? Yes, sir. Is that where you were coming from? My uncle. Your uncle lives there with you? Yes, sir. Does he have his own room in the house? Uh, yeah. And you have your own room in the house? Yeah, I, I barely stay there sometimes. Where do you normally stay at? I really be with my girl. Okay. Is that where you're coming from tonight? Uh, yeah. Well, I had went up the road. Ma, Ma. Huh? Uh, where you at? Uh, can you can you uh come over here like going up town? The police don't got me. Okay. You got inside on? Yeah, I'm up here. Okay, I'm coming. All right. I'm gonna have a search warrant on the house. That's where he was coming from. That's where he lives at. Grandma just asked him on the phone if he had anything on him, so she had knowledge, which means there's probably more at the house. So I need to secure that while well, I type a warrant real quick. It'll be a quick. One sentence, two sentence PC warrant. And I'll get Jeremy up here. But that was an admission on Grandma's part right there. And he's been Mirandized too, so. Did he say he had anything else? Hmm? I mean, guess he said he didn't have anything else, right? Yeah, I asked for consent and he said no. And then he diverted gaze and started coming up with all kinds of excuses, so. Um, well, that's fine, but that gets her up here out of the house so she can't get rid of anything. Right back to uh, no, she's detained while we secure residence. Because she's coming from. Uh, we, there's an uncle that lives there too, so we're all going to go right over there. You type it up in your car? Uh, no, I don't have word on my computer. And all my templates are at the office. But that's possession with intent. Um, that's at least. At least an ounce and a half, I and mean, then he's got prescription pills, he's got individual baggies, he's got a scale, he's got everything. Um, cash to go with it, uh, which I'm going to see he's at. So. I mean, is this car paid for? I don't know. I didn't look at that. Well, see, he's got a wing. We can... I was downloading the uh, main That'd car. That'd be a chief camera. call, though. Downloading the main car? Mm -hmm. I'll give it to you. You had a bunch of fight in you, and you was not going to give up. The minute I let go of you, I know he was going to go again, so that's why I wound up with that, okay? I mean, I said, I, 
I told you what I did and where I come from and all that other stuff. I've been doing this for a hot minute. 24-year-old Jermaine Jones was pulled over Monday on Highland Avenue and Clifton Street. They say Jones tried to flee the scene and ran away. That's when deputies tased him. His family says his injuries are so severe that he's now in a coma. From the time they put him in handcuffs to the time he's supposed to be transported to Fantasy Road, something happened to my child. They showed us um, him being tased but it's not showing the injuries that my son got from this tasing incident. Deputies say Jones ran from them during a traffic stop. He was tased by investigator Richard Russell, who, according to his personnel file, has been written up for at least eight violations since he was hired, including in January when he pulled over an older woman for not driving in her lane. He arrested her after she didn't follow his orders, even though she told him she had trouble hearing. His supervisor writing that Russell needs to, quote, to learn how to de-escalate things to his advantage. I've rolled around on asphalt probably two, three hundred times. Is your grandma? I'm going to go talk to her real quick. Hey, are you grandma? Yes. Hey, I'm Officer Russell of the Warning Police Department. How are you? All What's your right. name, ma'am? Uh-huh. What's your name? Let's step over here and talk real quick. Okay. okay. This is your grandson, Mr. Reynolds? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Are you? Is your last name Miss Reynolds as well? Okay. Right. Does he live with you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, does he have his own room in your house? Uh-uh. He, he just stayed in and out there. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. is it, was he at your house earlier? Well, I've been going all day. To okay. tell you the truth, I've been out crooked shopping. I got you. Uh-huh. Okay. So, are you aware of what your grandson partakes in? Huh? Are you aware of what your grandson partakes in oh. as far as his means of making income and such? He, he done apply for disability. He got hurt. He got okay. ran over. All right. You know what marijuana smells like? I guess. I don't know. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Is there any reason there'd be any at your house? No. Okay. Are there any firearms or any other kind of narcotics at your no, house? No, no, no. All right. How about digital scales or packaging material or anything like that? Okay. And it's your house and you're the owner? Yeah. Okay. Do you rent it or you own it? I own it, but okay. I rent the land. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we wanted to search the house. Would that be okay with you? Uh, uh, you ain't got to be searching my house. He well, just in and out. He got here on the house. Okay. His house is on the end oh, so of the I was just asking, so the reason that he's here where he's at right now, uh -huh. uh, he's got some drug charges, okay? He told me out of his mouth he was coming from your house where he stays at. You told me that he lives with you. Yeah. So it's reasonable to believe that if he has a quantity yeah, on I him wouldn't. here that he may have some more at his house. I wouldn't. I, I don't know. Okay. okay. And that's why I was trying to ask you for permission no, to see that well, that was all right. But you're not going to give consent. Is that what you're saying? No, because I mean... He in and out. Well, okay. he lived there, but he in and out. Is there anything illegal at your house that you would be concerned about? No. Okay. I was just curious. Like I said, I was. <laughs> it's just part of what I got going on. Okay. okay. So, um, I said he told me he's coming from his house. He said he stays there with you. That's where he was coming from tonight. So that's what we were getting. Well, at. I so I wanted know. to make sure that. Yeah. You have anybody else that lives with you? My son, Tony. Okay. How old's your son? Fifty-one, I think. Fifty-one. Okay. Does Tony smoke or do any kind of drugs that you know of? No. Uh, he, okay. he just come out of the hospital because he's been there, uh, been there for a two week procedure. Go to 175 and secure it. I'll wait on Kurt here. Just, she's making too many phone calls. There should be a 51 year old male there. Um, just have him stand on the front porch and make sure nobody's in or out. Hey, Judge, this is Russell. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm sorry to bother you. Um, this. Merry weekend before Christmas, but uh, I'm about to go type up a search warrant for a residence as a result of the traffic stop, and I'm going to need you to meet me if you can. Uh, I apologize for the inconvenience uh, on the holiday weekend. Um, probably 45 minutes to an hour. I'm I'm being generous on that. I'm trying to get another unit over here with me. I've got one going to secure the house right now. Um, as soon as my transport car gets here, we'll all be over there. We'll all take care of that, and I'll run to the office and uh, have it typed up. All right. Um, do I need to type it up in the probate court or the magistrate court or superior court of Warren County? So magistrate court of Warren County. 
Yes, sir. Uh, I will call you back. Well, I'll text you. Um, this is the new number I've got right now. Um, I'll text you when I start heading to the office. And uh, I'll give you some updates. Where can I go? All right. Like Where can I go? Alright, so here's the deal, alright? So huh? I'm gonna apply for a search warrant for the house, okay? I'm not saying that I am gonna get one, I'm just letting you know that I am gonna apply for one. Well, you can... In the meantime, while I'm applying for the search warrant, my partner's gonna secure the house, meaning that nobody's gonna go back in or out of the house, okay? Everybody that's in there right now, which you said was your son, is gonna come out, and everybody's gonna wait until the search warrant is either denied or granted, okay? Uh, once it's denied or granted, if it's granted, I will execute it tonight. If it's denied, you'll be free to go back inside. But in the meantime, you are not held here. You're not under arrest. He is. Uh, you can go anywhere you want to, but my partner, yes, my partner is going to be at your house, which means you not, cannot go inside, okay? okay. <sighs> I'm sorry? No, ma'am. Oh, we're securing the residence, okay? Uh, I'll make it as quick as I possibly can. Have you been all through the house? No. Okay. What? Who's in? How many people in here? This this gentleman here. He's handicapped, so I didn't move him. Okay. You the only one here, sir? Are you the only one in here? Oh, I was I got a nephew in the back. You said nobody else was here. I thought you were right here. No, no, in the house. What's his name? What's his What's his name and how old is he? Okay. What's his name? Tony? Tony! Tony, police department! Who's Tony, man? Who, who's your nephew? Tony? Your son? That's her son. Okay. What, his name's Tony? Is he supposed to be in here? Is he supposed to be here? I'm saying, is he here? Tony! <laughs> police department, I need you to come out here. Show me your hands. You the only one in your room, bro? Yeah. Okay. Come on out here, bro. Yeah. Okay. Come on out here, bro. I got what you're trying to do. Truly. Truly. Hey, give him a coat. Okay. Whose room is this? I'm not in there. Okay. You want to sit What's his name? What's your nephew's? What's your nephew's name, sir? No. All right. Come on out here for me. Uh, just let me do a protective sweep real quick. Let me finish the rest of the house. And then they, I'm fine with them sitting as long as they, they start moving around and getting crazy or whatever. Snatch them out. Yeah. Uh, what do I want me to do? I'll just secure in the house real quick. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can go right over here at the table, okay? Is there anybody in the other half of the house? No. Uh, okay. No. I'm going to go check real quick. I'm assuming that's your half of the house? That's where you live at on this half? Yeah. Okay. Give me one second. Excuse me, Mr. Tony. I see it. It ain't open just yet. Excuse me. Okay. Police department! All right. So, oh, I have not searched your house, okay? Just so that I want to make sure that everybody understands what's going on and I'm cleared. I don't want you to think I'm doing anything I'm not supposed to be doing, okay? So, I'm, I've been completely courteous with him and I try to extend the same to you, okay? I mean, we even fought in the road and I helped him up and dusted him off. So, we're, we're done. We're past all that, okay? Uh -huh. uh, end of the day, it just is what it is. I told him that. It's, it's nothing personal. I don't even know him. So, but he has a designated bedroom here. So this makes this his residence, whether it be primary or he's in and out like you said, however it is. He told me out of his own mouth he was coming from here. Um, the well, quantity. Be in there, 
a quantity of narcotics was located, so I said, I'm going to apply for the search warrant, okay? I'm not telling you that I am going to be granted one, but I am going to apply for one. Yeah. But in the meantime, I need y'all to kind of just hang tight right here for me. Um, I'm not going to destroy all of your house or anything like that. I can see where he's primary at. Um, so the search warrant is going to be for the whole residence, and we are going to check a good majority of the residence. But like I said, I'm not going to be disrespectful to your house and throw everything all over the place. And, okay. And mess up everybody because it's, it's designated that it's individual rooms and that, that's pretty clear okay, okay I so i'm gonna slide by you real quick excuse me oh, i'm sorry about that i got a little close to you but it's gonna take me a minute to type everything and have the judge meet me to sign it okay so um you probably look at about an hour just hanging out for me um okay. waiting on the judge and everything so but the sooner i get out of here the sooner i'll be back okay, okay. all right To who? Me. That's my girl. When they got me on the crowd ten, I told the GBI that I was going to get me a gun. They told me to get me a gun to protect myself. That's my gun. That gun registered. Hang on. One second. Instead of yelling, let me, let's have a conversation, okay? So the box for that firearm is located in his room, along with all the, everything to go with it. So why was it be? Why would that be in his room if it's your gun? Cause he got it and not unfamiliar to me. He got the box unbeknownst to you. No. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna take That's that firearm. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. When you check it out, you'll see it rich. That's, to me. Where did you purchase it at? At uh, the pawn shop down there in Thompson. And you purchased it using your ID. Huh? And you purchased it using your ID? Yeah. Okay, and there's no reason his fingerprints would be on that firearm whatsoever, right? I don't know, because he don't got it, and I didn't know he had it. Well, if he got it, his fingerprints on it. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to take that gun as part of That's going to be taken as evidence as well, okay? Uh, that's going to be seized as evidence. Because it was in a common access area of the house. I don't care. I Here. You can use this bathroom. You can come use this bathroom. Okay, well then, you're going to have to wait. We're trying to be... Well, give me one second. I'll be right out. Really no, just, just hold tight. I'm going to make this quick. Excuse me. Yeah, I got to use the bathroom. And yes, ma'am. I, I, I tried to give you an opportunity to use the restroom to be courteous, okay? But I have an order of operations i got to go through with stuff, okay? I'll just make this fast. All right. Are there any other guns back here? Are there any other guns back here? No, there ain't no gun. I had one. Okay. You'll see. Right. You're good to go, ma'am. Ma'am, go use the bathroom, please. Thank you. That's fine. Thank I apologize for the delay. Ma'am, do you have to pee or not? Huh? Do you have to pee or not? Yeah, I got to pee. Okay, then go pee. All right. All right, this house is still ours right now. I can be rude and all have right. you exit the house, all right? We're not doing all that. I've been very polite with you, your grandson, and everyone here tonight. I'm done with the attitude. Damn, ounce of crack in your house, and I'm the problem. I had a search warrant. Excuse me. Have. Correction. 
but still active. I need to go get another pair of gloves. I will take that with me. If you can... Oh, right, here. The firearm in here? Yes, in the box. Right. Just secure them. Huh? Yes, sir. You did a traffic stop, right? That is correct. How did you end up at your house? With that search warrant. No, no, no. That ain't even. What, that no, that ain't even. Yeah, 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 yeah. The judge says I did by the no, search no, warrant. No, sir. No, sir. My lawyer going to say otherwise.